In this video, I'm going to show you a Workflow Max tutorial. So in this video, we'll explore how to use Workflow Max for project management to tracking time, managing jobs, and running reports. This guide will help you get familiar with the platform so you can streamline your workflow, manage projects effectively, and boost productivity. So let's get started. So first, what is Workflow Max? Workflow Max is a cloud-based project management and job management software designed for businesses that need to manage projects, track time, and invoice clients efficiently. So it's a versatile tool commonly used by creative agencies, construction companies, consultants, and other service-based industries. With Workflow Max, you can create and assign tasks, manage clients, track billable hours, send invoices, and run reports all from one platform. Uh, it also integrates with tools like Xero for accounting and provides customizable templates for different industries. So now let's head on to our dashboard. So when you create an account, you will be redirected to your dashboard. But first, I'm just going to uh, show you the portal. So from here in your portal, you will see all of the organizations you have created. Now simply select the org to get started with the dashboard. So as you can see, I have selected this org. So you will now be greeted by this uh, dashboard where you will see all of these charts and tables where you will see your productivity and also your performance so as you can see right here there are uh tables right here that shows your product productivity summary my tasks code history my jobs my codes job manager progress and from here you can also quick add new tables so as you can see you can create or enter weekly timesheets so let's say we want to add this so you can see this will uh, how the weekly time sheet will look like. So just click on save. Let's go back to the dashboard. So again, it should just uh, uh, be placed right here. So you can also add tasks right here for the time sheet and so on. And also in your dashboard, you can configure this dashboard by clicking here on configure. So as you can see, you can add the well, widgets right here. Let's say you want to see your revenue and profit. Oh, it's still coming soon. Let's just select this age, WIP and age debtors. Click on save. And as you can see, it's now added right here in our dashboard. Now let's move on to the uh, client section. So from here, you will see all of your clients. You can also add them in groups and contacts. So let's say we want to add a new client. So simply click here on create new client in the top right. Uh, simply fill up all of this information, such as their name, uh, client manager, select the client manager, the business structure, job manager, client type, and also their contact details, which has their phone, email, a website. Next is you want to add their addresses and tax company and billing. So after uh, filling up all of this information, simply click on save and you will now be able to add a new client. You can also select the client. It will have a box right here. If you created a client, you can select them and you can add them to your favorite section or archive section. Next is groups. So again, you can create new groups right here. It's just the same process. Click on create new group and enter the group name. So let's say test. Now you can click your, uh, you can see that you already have a group right here. So you can add your clients or contacts to this group. So as you can see, you can also click on the star icon to add them to your favorites. Now let's go to contacts. 
So from here, again, you will see all of your contacts right here. And again, you can create new contacts just like creating new clients. So just fill up all of this information, click save, and you're good to go. Now let's move on to jobs. As you can see, we have this jobs right here, our drag down menu, which shows, shows jobs and tasks. So first, let's go to jobs. So as you can see from here, you can create a job. So create a new job. So again, just fill up all of this information. But now it will have this schedule information. So it's start date, due date, the priority. So it's just the same as a task. So now click save. Let's just go back so you can see right here. They will also have this tracking feature that says starting today, due this week, and overdue. So to see, this is the active job section. So if you want to see all of the jobs, just click here on all jobs. You can also see the calendar right here to always keep track of the tasks and jobs. Next is staff allocation. So you can allocate uh, jobs to your members. And also we have this recurring job. So again, you can just simply create new recurring jobs. Now let's go to tasks. So as you can see the tasks, uh, you should see or you should create tasks when you have already created the jobs. So from there, you can be able to create tasks for the specific job. Next is business. So as you can see right here, it has this different features such as leads, codes, work in progress, invoices, purchases, suppliers, timesheets, and settings. So it's just simply uh, another CRM uh, feature right here. So again, you can click on leads. So you can create your new leads right here. You can see their history. You can go to codes. So you will see your active codes, all of the codes right here. And also you can create new codes if you want. Next is work in progress. So you'll see this uh, performance metrics right here. It's just like a basic report. And next is invoices. Again, you will just see tables and charts right here. See the invoice. And again, of course, you can create new invoice. Next is purchases. You can create new purchase order right here. You will see the draft issued, partially received, fully received, and canceled. And we have the timesheets. You can create the chat timesheets right here. You can edit this too. And the settings. Now we have the reports. As you can see, we have this uh, pre-made reports right here. So you can always uh, check this reports right here. So let's say this billable time report. So you need to confirm your report parameters above and click refresh report. So you'll see all of that reports right here. So that's basically how you can use the Workflow Max CRM or software. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.